Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see a very interesting topic and that is check printing system. You can print unlimited number of checks with just simple clicks. So in this video, we will learn how you can connect the Excel sheet with Word using the mail merge feature so that you can print all of these checks with just simple click and all of that will be printed on this template automatically. So I have attached all of these files with the link of this video for your practice. So without wasting any time, let's see our today's topic. All right, first of all, as I've told you before that all the practice files and all of these files are attached with the link of this video. You can find it in the description. So after downloading all of these, you will first open the salary book. Now, as we can see that there are lots of employees at the end of the month, let's say I want to issue them salaries and let's make the amount column simple. Let's write comma style here. By default, you will see this kind of format. You can reduce the decimal places. Now the main requirements on the check is you need obviously name on the check, the amount in numbers on the check and the amount in words must also be there. And also one more requirement is date. Now, for example, if I want to issue the salary check on 31st January 2022, so I want all of these dates to be 31st January 2022. So just write the date, double click to send it down. And from here, I'll instead of fill series, I'll click on copy cells to show the exact same date. Now one requirement of check is date, then name, then amount. Now I need amount in words as well. So for amount in words, you will simply write here amount in words but we need a special formula for it, which is not available in Excel by default. So you need to enable the developer tab, right? So it's very simple under any menu. If you are, let's say on the home menu, go to the right hand side and you will find an empty space here. I'll right click and click on customize the ribbon. From here, you can directly see this area where the developer tab will be unchecked. You will just need to check it and click OK. And then you will be able to see this. Now, the special formula is spell number. I'll just open it. I'll simply copy the whole formula for from this word document copy. And from the developer tab, I'll go to visual basic, click on insert and click on module and simply paste it and then close it. Now you can find the exact same formula from Google as well. Now how you will find it, I'll tell you in this video. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to our channel and you want to see more and more amazing videos, then please click on the subscribe button right now and hit the like button as well. If you like the video, I need your comments on what topics you want to see in future. So click on the subscribe button right now. All right, if you want to find spell number formula directly from Google, you just need to write on Google, convert amount in words, Excel, and you will find the formula spell number from Microsoft.com support. So this is the most authentic website. You will go and scroll down and just scroll up. Copy the following lines of code it says. So just select this. Make sure to select it from open explicit, move down to this end function area. Make sure that you don't select anything more or less than that. So anyways, you can do that thing, but right now I already have copied and attached for you as well. So let's test this equals to spell number. Now I have the new formula select and enter. So it says 40,000 dirhams only because I have customized this formula for UAE. I'll also show you how to change the currencies, but let's see the magic first. 40,000 dirhams only, it immediately spells it 
and as I double click to send it down, boom, it shows all the amount in words with a single click. Now let's try some complex numbers like 3543.23. So it shows 3543 dirhams and 23 fills. That's perfect. Now let's change the currency. I'll go to Visual Basic, click on module that I have inserted here, expand it. And I don't know exactly where is the rums mentioned. So I'll press Ctrl F directly, go to replace and find the rums and replace with dollars. Let's say replace all 11 replacements are made. Okay. Now let's change it to the rum. And from here, I'll change it to dollar. Replace all two replacements. Now the cents currency is basically fills in UA. So fills should be changed to cents. Replace all. And if it is single fill, it will be changed to cent. Replace all and click OK. Close and close. Now let's double click to send down again. Now it shows in dollars. So I've quickly adjusted that. Now, since I've inserted an external formula using the developer tab, now it cannot be saved as a normal workbook. I'll click on file, go to save as under this PC. And let's say I write macro enabled, or you can keep it, keep the name as it is. But I'll change the file type to Excel macro enabled workbook. And now let's save it and click OK. So it will show the file something like this with an exclamation mark. Now, when we want to connect this file, I'll open the check writer template and it will ask you some prompt click on no because we will create some new links. So let's empty all of these fields, whatever is mentioned here. And now let's connect Excel with Word first. And for that, the procedure is very simple and quick. Let's go to mailings, select recipient, use an existing list. And from here, I'll select my salary book click open and the main salary is on the salary given sheet. It is basically showing the number of tabs or sheets in that uh, file. So salary given has uh, the information about the employees. So click OK. Now it's connected. Now on the same mailings tab, we have already used this. Now if you open or drop down the insert merge field from this arrow key, you will find all the headings or data that is coming directly from Excel. Now we will simply link the areas according to where it needs to be placed on the check. So for example, here I need date. Here I need name. Here I need amount in words. And here I need the amount. Now let's click on preview results to see the magic. But before seeing the magic, click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for amazing videos in future. So let's click on preview results. Now here is our first check, second, third, fourth, five, six, seventh, eight. Isn't this amazing? How quickly it produces all the checks with a single click. As soon as it is connected, it is showing all the details directly coming from Excel to here. Now this template is designed according to let's say Barclays Bank. If you want to adjust the template, what you can do is simply take photocopies of your blank check and cut it off the check size, place it in printer and try to print it with same labels. When it is not fitting in the proper area, you can just adjust the fields according to your requirement by your journal idea. 
for example let's say on your check date is here so you can place it here and try that if it needs a little bit adjustment you can do that and finally you will reach on a template then you can save that template with the name that it is for the standard chartered bank let's say so that's how you do it now if i want to print all of checks with a single click i'll click on print and click on print from here but we can see only one copy here although it, it will print all the checks but still if you want to see all the checks separately the final step is finish and merge and click on edit individual documents and click all to merge records it will show all the checks like this and you will notice that the name is changed that is letters one i'll change the name to save as let's write it as final checks hit ok and click ok now now if we scroll down to the end you can see that one check is blank with a specific figure that might be because the last row was not actually checked it is the total of the amount so what i'll do is i need to remove that from the printing list i can click on edit recipient list and scroll down and uncheck this not only this for example you don't want to print any specific check you can uncheck that as well and click ok so that's a simple technique on how you can print unlimited checks in excel using the mail merge feature if you want to see some more advanced techniques comment below and i'll try to resolve your query with more and more advanced features that we will include in this so thank you so much see you in the next video